They'll wave the green next time by the white and then the checker. Here we go. Greg Biffle ahead of Casey Kane at the line. Two laps to go. There goes Harvick. 29 car drops to the bottom. Gosh, there's no surprise, is there? Outside to come up with a big head of steam is that 24 car. I've been watching him. That car is fast on a short run, particularly. There you go. Hard's going to get a good bump from the nine. Come on, nine. Well, outside. Come on, nine. Oh, well, there Biffle. goes Biffle. There you go. All right. Two. Caution's out. Caution's, caution's out. out. So the race is over. Wherever they were at the time of caution. The race is over. And they're all wrecking. This looks like days of thunder all over again. And Kevin Harvick. Baby! Will become the fourth driver to win back to back Budweiser shootouts. Getting a big push from Gordon right here. And uh, of course, Kane gave Harvick in the 29. I don't know if the Biff had a right rear down or if he just got lifted off the ground because the 29 was all, I mean, the 24, Jeff Gordon was all up in the back of him getting in the corner. And I noticed when Biffle came to the pit road here, I didn't see the right rear tire like it was down. I think okay. he thinks that's what happened. But I bet he changes his mind when he sees a replay. It might be because it was completely off the ground. Yeah, like see it's right, you can see right there. It's not flat. And look, he spins right up and in to his two Roush Fenway teammates, Matt Kenseth in the 17 and the 99 of Carl Edwards. I don't reckon I can remember how many cars we've torn up here in the last couple of days. Being I mean, this many cars in a couple of days down here see Mark Martin the five two of the Roush Fenway cars Bobby Labonte Kenny Schrader Brian Newman 